morning, everyone. <clears throat> the story that I heard yesterday, I've heard it before, but it's worth repeating. You know, a good story is worth repeating, just like a, a good cast is worth repeating. Um, you know, the type of issues that we have here in Sullivan County, you know, they've been all over the world, especially, um, you know, any place where anti-religious Jews have made a stronghold. So one example is Cincinnati. Um, you know, we, we studied about the uh, Frankist movement and the Sabbatean movements in their <coughs> So, uh, and it was especially true in Cincinnati. But there in Cincinnati, you also had um, a, a tremendous uh, Godol and a, a very colorful character. It was sort of laser, laser silver, so who's you can lay the vocal Um A very, very special tzaddik, but also a very, very colorful, very interesting person. And uh, Rabbi Silver, um, he sought to build a mikveh there. In Cincinnati, and of course the uh, reform, they tried to stop it, just like in Bloomingburg, other places where the, the anti-religious Jews—they're not even reform there. They don't—they don't even have a temple there. Nothing. Um, the Sabbatean Frankist, the communist, self-hating Jews uh, try to not only really fight against Judaism, but fight against all religion. That's what it's really about. Um, when you really look into the roots of these movements, um, you know, especially from Marxism and so forth. So, there was a, uh, so it, it was, what happened, there was a, an almona, it was a widow who willed to the community her home uh, for the purpose of building a mikveh. And uh, so after that, so, um, so she had the, she gave it to the community to build a mikveh, and they tried to build it, and the reform, they tried whatever they could do to prevent such a thing, because it, it's not enough that for themselves, that they're not keeping terror, but they had to do whatever they could to prevent others from keeping terror, that's, you know, if, and, and it's really, you know, a test what they could see, if they could fight the Orthodox synagogues, they could fight the churches too, that's what the really their goal is is against all religion you know not like how you know we celebrated yesterday fourth of july jefferson had the ideal which was total and radical religious freedom that's the jeffersonian ideal of religious freedom that's you know the so-called progressive movement which was really regressive we see like fdr you know he didn't speak of freedom of religion but rather freedom of worship um, in his uh, four freedoms and uh, there's something quite insidious about how he chose merely freedom of worship as opposed to freedom of religion um, this was before FDR but still also you know the influence of the other people of the so called progressive movement which was really regressive and quite racist folks like uh, Woodrow Wilson and so forth, these type of ideologies crept into society. And Rabbi Silver was standing up for the authentic Jeffersonian ideal of, of religious freedom. <coughs> and uh, private property rights, all the same things that were going, was going on now in Sullivan County uh, between the, the left who were trying to block private property rights and religious freedom. And, uh, and patriotic Americans who are supportive of these things, supportive of private property rights and religious freedom. Um, so anyway, there in Cincinnati, that was a story, I don't know, 80 years ago or so, so Rabbi Silver wanted to build a mikvah, and he was prevented from doing so. Defending him.
himself was, you know, future to become a Supreme Court Justice Taft, uh, and the senator also, uh, when he was just starting off as a lawyer, he was, you know, a, a son of President Taft, I believe, or a grandson, I'm not sure. President Taft, I think, was also in the Supreme Court. I think he was the only time when you had a president who subsequently was on the Supreme Court, if I'm not mistaken, unless I'm confusing with someone else. So, um, he was being defended by Mr. Taft. Um, so anyway, the judge said the case was, a, was blind. So the lawyer from the reform side, he said, you know, if your honor were able to see, you could see that how what this man is talking about, that's not what we mean, religious freedom. Yeah, this man's a caveman, he's antiquated. Religious freedom means that you could, you could, you know, it has limits, you know, you can't be a, a caveman like, like these, you know, with the big beard and the and a long coat and all these weird things that, you know, this is what the reform was arguing, that religious freedom doesn't protect this type of religion, is what he claimed.